Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are doing my December Ross reveal. Can't wait to show you, I'm going to tell you if I got my bids, what I asked for, what I got and report times, all of that. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and TikTok, it's just Jessica Jessica X. So guys, this is like my second one because I did used to work for the same airline, I left and came back and then I did like my first Ross reveal not that long ago for November and October. I did have my airside pass not given to me literally until a few days ago so I missed a bit of that roster however I'm flying from Monday. I think I missed my Cape Town that I was supposed to have and I missed a Euro tour but I've got a there and back on Monday an available day and then I'm going to Israel so I'm going to start vlogging my cabin crew like monthly vlogs from Monday so that is going to be coming too so make sure you stay tuned because we're going to do a lot more cabin crew content now I actually can, I've got my air so I passed. So, December's roster, what did I bid for? My top, top bid for my maximum points was the 24th, 25th and 26th off. That's because personally I like to be at home with my family for Christmas. I know some people like to fly, some people like to be abroad. Mine, I have little brothers and sisters so I really want to watch them open their presents and I just, I like, I'm a bit of a family bird, I want to be at home with them. So I bid it for 24th, 25th, 26th off. My second bid, which was that I only did two bids because I really wanted to make sure I got Christmas off. So my second bid, I really wanted a four day JFK. They do do three and two day ones, but I really wanted one of the four day ones. So I bidded for that. I probably should have done just an open bid for JFK, as in just to get it on my roster. But I feel like they're always up on the crew swaps anyway, if I didn't get it. So, right, let's go in on my roster. Where are we? So if you remember from my last roster, I was in Bermuda from 28th of November till the 1st of December. So then I had two clear days, two rest days basically after that. So my sort of December roster starts from the 4th. So Sunday the 4th of December, I actually got a Washington. Now, I've been to the state of Washington when I've been to Seattle. This is Washington, D.C. IAD is the airport code. Now I've never been here, so this is a new destination and I always love a new destination, even if it doesn't sound the most exciting because I think how cool is it to take off a place that you've never been before and I'm sure there's things there that you will learn on the flight. I always love talking to the passengers because I feel like the passengers tell me where's good to go, especially if they're from there or they go there often. So I report on Sunday the 4th at 10.35 in the morning, so nice early report, which I like because when you go to America you then go back how many hours, so I feel like I'll get a good time there. So on the Monday, so the next day, I report at half 11 at night, so it's quite a good amount of time still, and then I clear on Tuesday in London at 7.20 and that'll be the 6th of December. So it's only a three day trip, usually our Americas, well a lot of our Americas now are four day trips, thank God, usually West Coast and stuff. But some of them are still just three day trips, so that is a three day trip, but really excited because I've never been. And then I have Wednesday the 7th, Thursday the 8th, and Friday the 9th of December off, so they're my rest days. My next trip is Saturday the 10th of December, and I report at 6.45 in the morning. I'm going to Lagos now. I've actually been to Lagos quite a lot of times when I was working for this airline before. I actually don't mind going to Lagos because usually it's really nice weather. We've got a really like cool pub club sort of thing there in the hotel if it's still there, I'm not too sure. Food's always really good there, and like it's the actual pop, like you know when you get Fanta and it's like a luminous orange, how it used to be, how it was supposed to be, it's still like that in Lagos, so. And um, Lagos is about six hours flight as well, so it's not too bad of a flight. On Sunday the 11th, so the next day, report at quarter past 10 at night, and then we clear back into Heathrow the next day, which will be Monday the 12th of December at 5.35 in the morning. I always remember these Lagos's now because you clear really, really early in the morning. You'd be like one of the first flights into Heathrow, but it's quite good because you sort of just go home then, have like a few hours sleep, and you sort of caught up. Do you know what I mean? Like you've still got the rest of the day then as well. So I actually don't mind that. I feel like that's quite a, sorry, I'm like in my throat, in my comfies. So that is taking me up to the 12th of December. Then because of that, it triggered the 13th and the 14th of December to be off. 
duty. And then the 15th of December, I've got a Euro tour. Reporting at 6.30 in the morning, flying to Edinburgh, coming back to London Heathrow, and then flying out to Berlin and clearing in Berlin at 15.45. I was really excited about this because I really wanted to go to Germany, which I was going to consider going just on my rest days, just to sort of try and find some German markets. So I'm really hoping where we stay in Berlin. I've never been to Berlin before, so it's another new destination. And I'm really hoping that there, there's some like German markets near or something like, I just really hope it's Christmassy. I feel like Germany is so Christmassy. I don't know why. I, I think it's just because of the German markets in Birmingham that we had. So it just reminds me of Christmas reminds me of Germany I don't know but I'm really hoping that there's something good there then the 16th of December the next day I report at 6 in the morning and flying back to London Heathrow then London Heathrow to Milan I'm clearing in Milan actually quite nice and early as well 12 25 decent and Italy for me always a happy time always a happy time because I get so much pasta and food when I'm there and wine <laughs> so I will really be happy about that I haven't been to Italy in a while so just going and finding like I like going to like the back skirts like the restaurants that are not in the touristy part finding somewhere to eat there so I'm really excited about that I hope that I can maybe go and explore a bit more of Milan I have been to Milan before but I think I was there really late and didn't really do much. I think we just literally went and got food really late at night. I got knocky that night as well, it was so good. So I'm really hoping that I can go and explore a little bit. And then Saturday the 17th of December, I report at 6.15 in the morning, fly back to London Heathrow, then fly to Edinburgh, and then fly back to London Heathrow. And that is clearing me at 10 to three in the afternoon. The next day, Sunday the 18th of December, I've just got there and back, and I'm reporting at 20 past one in the afternoon flying to Madrid, flying straight back, clearing at 10 to 9 on the evening, and that is that for that Euro tour. Then I've got two days off. I'll probably come home for that. So the 19th and 20th of December, I'm off. 21st of December, I report at 5 past 5, and I'm flying to Boston. Now, I love Boston. Boston is one of my favorite states in America. It reminds me of like London back in like the 20s. It's like really old England. And I think that's why, they, is that why they call it New England? I may have just made that up. I may have just completely made that up. But in my head, that makes sense. Because if you go there, the build, oh my God, like the buildings there. Architecture, I just love it. I really, really love Boston. It's actually quite a short flight as well. It's like six, seven hours. I just love Boston. I really, really enjoy Boston. And I think if I can remember right, the hotel is well opposite the shopping center, which actually is really bad. So <laughs> we might not want that. But yeah, I really do love Boston. I clear back into London Heathrow after flying back at five to 10 in the morning on the 23rd of December. So that's nice because five to 10 in the morning, drive home, it's Friday, Friday traffic might be a bit whatever, drive home and then she's off until the 28th. So I'll go back to work on the 28th. So I've got all of Christmas off. So I got that beard. I'm so happy and grateful. And then the 28th, 29th, 30th and 31st of December are all available days. Hopefully they get filled quite quickly, but you can't always guarantee. So I didn't get my JFK, but I'm not, I'm not giving up on that. I've sort of put some of my trips, I think I put the Lagos, the Washington. Maybe I've just put the Lagos and the Washington and the Euro tour on because I kind of wanted to keep my Boston because I really like Boston. To be honest with you, I don't really want to lose any of those trips because I'm actually really happy about my December roster. But I really, 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 it is a dream to go to JFK at Christmas. So, and I always think as well, you never know where life's going to be like in a year's time. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. So <laughs> I'm very here, there, everywhere. So I just really want to try and get that JFK in. I know at one point in my life, even if it's a holiday, I will do JFK at Christmas. But I just kind of wanted to really be in my feels in JFK Christmas mode. I don't think that makes sense. I'm quite happy about my roster. It was definitely better than my November roster, although I am so excited to go to Bermuda. 
but yeah I'm happy I'm happy here we go and I'm excited to bring you guys with me so I'm gonna do November cabin crew vlog December cabin crew vlog and I'll just sort of put them out at the end of the uh, month I guess that's probably how I'm gonna do it but yeah I really hope you've enjoyed this video don't know what I'm gonna bid for next don't know what I'm gonna bid for for January haven't thought about it yet maybe Maldives but I really hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up leave me a comment subscribe to my youtube channel and also follow me over on instagram and tiktok it's just jessica jessica x bye guys have a beautiful time